How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the All Elite Podcast, right here in No Holds Bar Network and right here in the offline No Holds Bar Network, your source for all wrestling podcast content and more. I am your stressed out, self-proclaimed greatest host as always, Kyle Masters, always joined by my co-host, she's the UVP of Giggles, <laughs> the heartbreak ching, and the queen of the indies herself, Tiffany. <laughs> all right, Tiff, let's just do this stupid podcast. Let's just do this thing. <laughs> Uh, I swear, like sometimes, like the before we start recording or we go live, the stuff that's said. I, I, we need to like hit record as soon as we we enter in a call, a Zoom call together. <laughs> as soon as it's as soon as we get into it, it needs to be started record. Just screw it. We're not gonna do any more intros anymore. We're just gonna go in and we're gonna talk about whatever the hell we're gonna talk about. So we're like all the stupid podcast. Because <laughs> like we have like the ultimate blooper reel if we did that. Oh my god, it would probably be like 10 hours long. Yeah, because today we were supposed to go live, clearly we're not, and we had uh, streaming issues, I don't know what the hell was going on, I couldn't figure it out, we just said, we, we literally went, you want screw it, let's do it offline, do the stupid podcast. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the AEP Stupid Podcast, ladies and gentlemen, right here on the Holtz Bar Network, where we stupidly talk about AEW, AEW Dark, Dynamite, BT, being the stupid Maybe BTS, right here in the network. God, start crying. Oh shit! I swear to God, I... we are three episodes away from AEP 100. It better not give us crap in three in two two weeks, three weeks, whatever it is. <sighs> Stress <laughs> is right. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, AEP 100, don't don't let me explain. Take a look. It's awesome. <laughs> trailer Welcome to the All Elite Podcast right here on the No Holds Bar Network Feels like it smells like I don't know. It seems like this is a revolution. said it sued podcast i just played the wrong video <laughs> you guys get the gist of it ap 100 is coming sorry that it got the wrong one with the filmora bottom <laughs> drop on it i put in the right one here this is in my fault <laughs> i quit you know i quit podcasting after this we're done like i'm done i'm retiring i'm i'm selling my equipment we're done no <laughs> no you can't go Oh. Don't, don't leave me. No. But yes, guys, AP 100 is coming. September 10th. Mark it on your calendars. It's going to be a big episode. We have lots of stuff planned. Uh, me and Tiff have been brainstorming the last couple of days. Actually, there's going to be uh, a lot of fun video clips that we're gathering for <laughs> this AP oh 100. So uh, you guys are not going to want to miss that. It's crazy. It's funny, like, going back. Mm -hmm. but... And if uh, you guys want to be featured... I, I put out the uh, the advertisement tweet. Uh, tweet or email us at all elite podcast uh, all elite podcast at gmail dot com. That's the email, not the website. Email, uh, and you're gonna send us a clip, thirty seconds max. Don't want it to be too long. If you guys want to be part of AP, let us know how you found us. Congratulating <laughs> hey, us. I want to be part of the stupid podcast. <laughs> yeah, asking if you want to be part of the stupid AEP podcast. You know, whatever works. Whatever you guys want to do, let us know. Send us the video. All eat podcast at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. I can't even. 
Oh, jeez. Anyway, so. <laughs> just talking about stupid AEW now. How about wait, that? wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let's, let's try to turn this podcast around. So right. I decided that I wanted to be inspired by my boy's private party. So I got the, the pink and blue. I see that. The pink and blue. And then our girl, Maria, she made this shirt. Uh, She made this design of private party. And she made it into a shirt for me. It's not on the pro wrestling tees. Uh, so I have two now I officially have two of Maria's designs that only me and her have as a shirt, which is just crazy. So it's funny because I know I know Quinn and Isaiah hit me up and they were like, that looks really cool. So I know Isaiah said something about maybe it being a logo on one of their shirts or something, but it's kind of cool knowing that our girl Maria, like I have two shirts that were created by her. I love her to death. I mean, we always talk about it, but guys, like if you can't see it, like it's it's sweet. She is honestly an unreal designer. Uh, so guys, go check her stuff out and support her. But uh, the most important one, Tiff. Yes. That's come out. Yes. And uh, it's uh, it, it has to do with you in general. I'm the queen. Um, because <laughs> what? Because I'm the queen. Oh, she's the queen, and it, it is, guys. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. The queen of the Indies. Look at that thing with her light tube staff, her list of husbands, McDuff, <laughs> the AP Duff. Mike, her wearing that exclusive T-shirt you were just talking about. Yes, I think that's so cool. And that is the official T-shirt. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Tiff now back with the crown. There she is. <laughs> that t-shirt, That's going to be an available logo on a T-shirt on our website that uh, we're relaunching now. Uh, yeah. We have a new uh, merchandise website put up on the screen for you guys. Um we have a where we we partnered up with T Springs to have a, a no holds bar network store. You can see there a lot of cool stuff from the website. There's T-shirts, coffee mugs, there's uh, masks which are pretty cool, and uh, some new logos on there, some old logos. But link will be down in the description below for you guys to get to the T Springs store. Um, so yeah, go check it out, guys. Lots of cool stuff in there. There's stickers too. I forgot to mention there's stickers. Yeah, the stickers are cool. But the Queen of the yeah, Indies logo will be on a T-shirt on there, available for you guys. Go go check it out. All reasonably priced stuff. And again, just for you, Maria, because I know you'll be watching. Uh, anyone that purchases the Queen of the Indies uh, logoed merchandise, uh, whatever we make in profit from that will be donated to a cause of your choosing. So uh, you let me know what cause you want me to pick, Maria. DM one of us, and then. I'll make sure I'll donate to that cause. Yay. So, yeah. So oh, awesome. Anywho, Rehu, which is a logo on the, webs- on the website. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> it's so cool. I know a lot of people like that. So uh, Let's talk about some AEW. That's why All we're right, here. That's it. why we're here on this pod. It's It's been a crazy week, right? God, it's like, been long. Been, What's the last time we did AEP? It's been like, like a while. <laughs> it's been like a week and a half. It's been a, a while. <laughs> Creed. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a week and a half. It's it it screwed us all up. I I saw. I was not. I didn't watch it live, uh, Dynamite. But uh, hey, you I did busy. watch it yesterday. I was yeah. I was really busy. I mean, it's it's been crazy, and I got another crazy week coming up too. So oh boy, uh, get us double double packed this week. I think we're doing Friday or I mean, you're just all. living up to. The there's queen a, of the Indies. There's a reason why I'm the queen of the Indies. I mean, you know, the No Holds Bar Network got you covered and everything. So, but. Uh, yeah, so it was funny because I did go to GCW Saturday to see a deathmatch tournament and uh, I saw I was scrolling through Twitter to see what was going on and I saw everybody was complaining that the basketball game was still going on. So oh, then yeah. I thought to myself, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I was like, you know, because you have it set on like DVR, yeah. right? And then like it picks up on it. So I missed like half an hour of Dynamite. <laughs> but luckily I was so mad. I was like, oh my God, because like, actually i was with ray and ray was like oh i set this dvr an hour later i was like oh my god i didn't do it i'm gonna miss like a chunk of dynamite i was like this sucks so <laughs> i actually thank god like i went out like i tried to go through the cable and they didn't have this week so i'm like shit but i went on the uh the tnt mm-hmm. app and i watched it through the computer like so i watched whatever i could on the tv and then when it cut then then i went to the app so Thank God, but yeah, it's been it's been crazy. So we have like two BTEs, yeah, no, and, and we have like the the tournament and mm-hmm. and uh, you know, dark and dying. It's just crazy. So, so I mean, there's much. so much, there's so <laughs> much. So I guess I guess we're gonna like pick and choose about certain things. That's oh, yeah. what we I didn't do my here. 
my dark and dynamite notes are is, is stuck to one page and that includes all of it both right. bte's and dark i i tried to I, like not write uh, a story right <laughs> basically I some stuff. so i mean i caught bte today i love mm. like the whole shit that they were doing with the dark did you watch dynamite chili <laughs> Tell me, tell me you don't love John Silver. Tell oh, me. He, like, he, I was already a huge fan. Everything. Like, I was already a huge yeah, fan yeah. before he joined AEW. Now I'm, like, even more of a bigger fan of his right now. And, oh, my God, I can't. Mm-hmm. The, and then when Brody threw him, he was like, give me a hug. Really? Yeah. Really? Give me a hug. And then he, like, threw him across the table. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. So might as well talk about BT. We missed. We have two two episodes to talk about, 217 and 218. Yeah. Um, oh the notes I took from we'll start with two seventeen. You, know, you must have been dying at this, the Spang the speak Spanglish court. Oh my god! With I was Dasha with, with not a a uh, the regular judge hammer. I always forget what that's actually called. There's a name for it, and I'm, I know like the the oh, uh, the law the law gurus out there are gonna give me crap for not knowing what the that right. gavel. I think it's called a gavel. <laughs> gavel, or gavel, gavel. But she's yeah. using a chancleta as the gavel. Oh my god! <laughs> I was dead. I was like, stop. Oh my god! Even like even Rick Knox like counting the mountains. Oh yeah, we haven't seen that in a Dark while. Order. Yes, I I you know it's so important. I feel like with BTE, especially if you watch from the beginning and then you get all those clips and stuff like that. That uh, you know that brings like the flashbacks. Like oh yay! Like they need to bring back the chocolate bits with Scorpio Sky yeah. and Matt Jackson. Like bring it back. Um, but yeah, I love that. That was I love hilarious. That yeah, I loved it. Marco was like had like the. Like, extra big i think he borrowed lucha sources like tie in in shirt he must have because those were huge <laughs> and him and alex marvez were like the 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 the, the, uh, the people that were trying to sue uh proud and powerful there and they, they were hilarious too and 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 yet dosh ends up favoring them and they're all like friends again oh <laughs> so that was cool God. so i love that marco's getting into a lot of these bits, yeah but, yeah oh my goodness the fifty for fifty, the fifty plus for fifty plus. Oh my god! Was hilarious because it was Cutler this time. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was building a computer, <laughs> and they were like, but it was with Matt Jackson like explaining it, <laughs> and like, <laughs> I'm sitting there going, the fifty. Plus. <laughs> Yo, Can you imagine Brandon being Cutler. fifty plus watching this? <laughs> Brandon Cutler, if you want to build me a computer, I will be very. That happy was a to sweet looking that. computer. Not gonna lie. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like I love Brandon Cutler. Oh man, but He's when Christopher Daniels was doing the 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 mortgages thing, and then he had oh, the yeah. fake eyebrows and the mustache, and <laughs> was I was like, oh yeah. my god, I was like, this is great. His infomercials have been great. Like both yeah. episodes, his infomercials were were fantastic. Yeah, I love it. I love that we get to see these other sides to the wrestlers, right? Like I always talk about this that you know just because that they stay in character, or whether they're a heel, or whether they're a face, that doesn't always necessarily like mean you know that they are that character like these they play really great roles and yeah I, some of them are really like nice in person so it's so nice to see like these fun bits with these guys but yeah i love the whole christopher daniels bit. <laughs> um there's a one scene with the dark order with silver and uh um reynolds and they're they're going over like people they Blade. should go after and then yeah. peter avalon shows up and he wants to join and like they're giving him shit, and then literally after they leave, Cutler's like, "Peter, I've been here like the whole time. Don't you know I record BT?" Yeah, that was funny. He's like, Go he's like, he's like, "Oh, Brandon." And he like, he's like, "I seen you hide under the table." <laughs> that was funny. I was, I was yeah. laughing at that. Yeah, that was good. Um, but like I was saying, the Chili's thing, the Dark Order celebrating, that was fantastic in the beginning and end of two eighteen, yeah. the second one. Oh man. With the selling I mean, with the chilies and then they go in they, their their chilies money describing like what they did oh with god. their million dollars. That, that was oh my god. He leaves I, silver I for the can't. end. I love it. It's so and you, you see like he's laughing and it's he like I don't it. he I, he's got to be like the he's got to be the male version of me the, the king giggles, of the indies. Yeah. No, no he's, king, sorry, the king, king of the giggles the, like yeah. because he's always laughing. So like yeah. he must be like like I'm the EVP. So like. What is he? The, the, the president, the vice president, or something like that? Or I, I don't, I don't like know. EVP, your executive vice president. He must yeah. be the president. He must be president giggles. because I don't know. Like you can't hold it in. Just, like it's just every episode you see him like dying laughing. Yeah. But, oh my god, he's so funny. How about Medusa? 
getting a, oh getting god, an appearance so, on like, yeah oh my god that Him was so Kenny. funny like yeah. they're like turning their head not to look oh okay 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 <laughs> and like hangman page was so perfect how like he like fell back yeah and he's, like still in the position like i'm dying and then like kenny's like okay okay you're cursed yeah. you're great like i love it like he's so extra right yeah. like kenny's like so extra about it but they teased the cleaner again when they were, the young bucks were talking about uh uh Cole Cabana dying and uh they're like they're they're like oh my god well, didn't Kenny want to kill Cole Cabana and they looked down on the suitcase and they had his cleaner jacket that looked like a gray wig behind and like the sunglasses and I'm like oh they keep give teasing me. it <laughs> give me give it to me I want the cleaner I think everybody wants the cleaner right yeah but that's been teased uh the whole Cole Cabana thing was funny too and then the second the first episode he, he was like we're like seeing through his eyes and it was, everything was gold with uh Doc Samson and then, like yeah. the the end of the the second episode, the the one that came out today, he had like a gold helmet on, and then they ended it with this like drill thing. So I don't know what next week he's gonna look like. We'll have to see. Oh shit! But how cool? How cool was it? The outro of the set yes. uh, today's episode with the figs. It's funny because yeah. she was sending me stuff of like with the figures like that she was playing around, like you know, animation yeah. with stuff. Um, so I had seen some stuff, but I didn't even know that it, you know, like that just, she did this for the outro or whatever. So it was funny because I ran out to do a couple errands. So then when I finally got home, I was like, okay, I got to watch this BTE before we do this episode. So I literally sat down and then and she DM me <laughs> and she's like, did you see the outro? And I was like, I literally just put on BTE. I was like, you know, give me a few. I was like, let me, let me watch this episode. And then I'll, I was like, I'll get you back. You know, I'll get back at you mm -hmm. when I see it. And I was like, flip it out. I was like, this is so cool. Like, oh my God. I love that she's been playing with the. Uh, you know the animation with the the, the figures yeah. and speaking so. of the dolls uh they did um no, it's not speaking of the dolls but speaking of young bucks in general they did uh have a little snippet in bt i don't know if it was the 217 or 218 that their book the first one yeah that's coming oh, no, out the book yeah they have yeah. signed they've signed little pieces of paper that are being inserted in I'm and you surprised. can actually order them so when you go to the the you go to is it, uh youngbucksbook.com it right. brings you to Shop AEW, like a, a page on Shop AEW, and it actually shows you uh, a bunch of links. If you want a signed copy, these are the places that are selling the signed copies. And if you want just the hardcover version, there's the, a bunch of links that, That's a bunch cool. of places that are selling the hardcover, the hardcover one. It's only twenty seven ninety nine to get a signed copy. That's not bad. So that's that you get the hardcover and the signed bit. I like in that it. they show like them signing. Yeah. BTC, that they they that they're signing and inserting. I it. might get a signed one. That with their cartoon book before yeah. like they did that also i also like the bit that they did uh in bte i think it was 217 that uh he they went into walmart to see if they could find the figures oh yeah sold <laughs> out. must and be I'm in like, this wwe cool. section over here <laughs> yeah i was dead i was like great but it's cool like i like you know that's gotta be like a yeah. cool feeling too to like go into the store and, and see like your, see your just stuff. everything sold out yeah 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 it's gonna be weird i think it's gonna be like weird hot, Kyle. like man. it's like our merch is ever like bought and like worn around us like it's gonna be very interesting to like see that don't do it people <laughs> what do you mean don't do it don't do wear it. your like, merch in front of out. me <laughs> no wear the merch in front of me i'll take some pictures with you guys like you know, I've it's already weird. had the experience where people like freaked out and saw me in person. Like, oh my god! Like, oh, <laughs> but I'm weird. It's no man. Like, come on! I think I was so excited that day. Like, I called Kyle on Facebook Messenger, like physically, yeah, so I, I could that. see him, and I was like so this. excited. She's this close, and I was like, Tiff, Kyle! you're so close. Back the phone up. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I see your eyebrows, but I don't see you. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, that was the night that private party and like uh, the young bucks were there. I was so excited. I was showing Kyle. I was like, Kyle, look! I was like, <laughs> but no, it's 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 you know, it's really funny. And I put this tweet out yesterday uh, because like the more and more shows that I go to, the more and more I get recognized. That it's pretty funny because you know people come up to me like different reasons, and it's like, oh, you know, like oh, heartbreak chick or the queen of the indies and then like mm -hmm. i got it the other day and these are people that like i interact with all you guys and stuff on twitter and it was funny and uh our girl shout out to our girl jewel and she was like you know how you have the list of husbands i'm like yeah she goes i got the list of crushes yeah i love it how everybody's like you know does their own spin on like the list of husbands so i've heard like Ooh, he's so handsome what's his name <laughs> the list of poppies the list of 
Listen, listen to the poppies. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Our girl April. That's a new one. <laughs> well, she calls she calls the indie guys her list of poppies. Oh, okay. And whoever's on mainstream is the list of husbands. Okay. okay. So it makes sense. <laughs> Hey, um, I love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah, but yeah. BTS, they were they're funny. They're great. The last these last few episodes were were fantastic. So if you guys missed it, go check it. Um, yeah. as for Dark, I picked up a few things from Dark. Nothing much happened. There's a lot of matches. There's like twelve matches on Dark this week. Right. Um, which would happen. I think it was like five or six days ago. Um, just running down through the matches. Kip Sabian faced Nakazawa. It was, it was pretty funny actually. It was a it's Nakazawa. Any match with Nakazawa is going to be freaking hilarious. That's going to be straight Naka. entertainment. Naka. Nakazawa. Um, That's something we need the clip that we used to yeah. do too. For our Kiss 100. and Janela are now 9-1 as a tag team, by the way. Wow. So they're they're getting a lot of steam right now in Dark. They faced Sean Dean and Frank Stone. Uh, Will Hobbs and Sean Spears are doing still rocking with the Sean Spears. Sean Spears actually has like an 8-1 record now. Or 9-1 record. Some big record in 2020. So he's climbing the momentum train. So... A lot so of these people are building dark. a lot of momentum on dark, and it, it's going to translate to TV. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Like, oh, I hope so too. I really do. Like, you, you, if you can't, you can't gain momentum on dark, and then you know you go to dynamite and lose your first match. And it's crazy, right? Like that we see some of these guys still in the indies. Like Janela, Janela has been like all weekend in yeah. Atlantic City. Like it's so. And he it's flies so back down to Jacksonville today. and goes and yeah. fights with Sunny Kiss and has a dark match. But uh, crazy. The big thing here. Uh, we've been wanting to see them return for a while now. We finally got them back in a tag team match. So the initiative, not them, but uh, <laughs> they faced off against uh, TH2. So TH2 were back tagging, and it was uh, actually a very underrated match. If you guys missed it on Dark this week, go back and watch TH2 in the initiative. They actually had a very, very good match, and it was probably the it. longest match on Dark. I got to watch it. I'm yeah, it was, it was very good. Um, Red Velvet faced Abaddon. Too. I love Abaddon. Absolutely love her. Still scared shitless of her, though. Just saying. <laughs> I'm still scared. I'll have nightmares all day about Abaddon, but I'm loving the character. Abaddon is so unique, and they need to hold okay. on to her like forever because that's not something that's done a lot in in women's wrestling. Like it's, you don't see something like Great. that too often. Yeah, especially because she plays the character so well. She like does the head cranks and stuff like to a T. Like she is the perfect zombie character. Good. We need um, we need different around here. Yeah, Definitely. she faced Red Velvet, you know, from your mama's kitchen. <laughs> so she's built at. I don't know. I find that so weird still. Right. Um Dark Order faced off against three guys I've never heard of before, but hey, if you're an indie queen, I don't know if you've heard of any of them. D three, Ryzen, and Fabu Andre. Fabu Andre, I've heard of before. Fabu Andre is very, very flamboyant. He was, uh, he's having an interesting character. He's got like the, what's his name? Um, uh, what's that actor's name? Uh, he's, he's like that UK actor. He was in Get Him to the Greek. What's that guy's name? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> Someone's gonna comment yeah. or something, and it'll talk. But he looks like that. Uh. Colt, it was, but it was Colt Cabana working with Reynolds in, in Silver, and the point of the whole thing was, but Colt wasn't getting is not getting along with Dark Order. Like he's not, he doesn't have the chemistry with them, especially like when they're making their entrance, they're all doing like the the, the Dark Order sign, and he just walking around going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Starks face Lee Johnson. Starks, fuck Boy. guys, money man. The guy is absolute money. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a weird thing after the match though, like Wardlow came out. And he made Lee Johnson put the campaign pin on his, like, tights. <laughs> it was like, okay. I don't know if I missed something on, on, a, on another episode of Dark as to why that is, but well, that I think is what that like was. Well, it's like the CTE stuff. Yeah. Maybe. Proud and Powerful squashed uh, Baron Black and Tony Donati. Uh, Lance Archer crushed two people in a two-on-one handicap match. Literally just ate John Cruz and Jesse's... What the heck is this guy's name? I don't even know what I wrote down. Jesse Sorensen. Ate them for breakfast. That was it from that. Alan Angels faced Billy Gunn. That was pretty funny. And uh, Private Party and SCU faced the Lucha Brothers and Butcher and the Blade, who were dressing normal this time. They weren't in their, whatever the heck that getup was, the white. That just didn't, you know what? Where's I'm glad Waldo? they got rid of that. Just don't do that ever again. The Waldo? They, well, where's Waldo get up? <laughs> They're back to their normal Butcher and the Blade stuff. That's fine. But, uh, yeah. Dark was all right. It was okay. It was okay. 
You gotta yeah. catch it. You gotta go watch that initiative and TH. Yeah, I gotta That's watch it. Match. I'm like so behind. I'm the other matches you can do without, but that match in particular, okay. I'll you gotta definitely go back watch and it. watch for sure. Yes, I'll definitely go watch it. I got a lot of stuff I gotta watch. Let's talk about the main event. The Dino My. Dino My. This was a really good episode. Which was delayed I mean, that was, it was by 30 delayed. minutes. Because of the NBA. We God. knew this is Boo be a basketball. Boo. <clears throat> Don't, there's a lot of people that like basketball. They're, they're, well, they're going to cancel us. Boo. <laughs> You can boo me if you want to. Boo! <laughs> I was on his ish today. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, just for basketball. But, uh, yeah, Dinah, and then you could tell that they were, like, sitting there. I guarantee they're all sitting in the ring watching it because, like, when they when they went into Dynamite, there everyone was in the ring, and then it's, like, they were ready to go. Okay, let's start now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, they were, they were ready to go. Uh, it was uh, – I think the, like, the format of it was probably – the flow felt really nice for this dynamite. Yeah, it was it was good. Like everything flowed right. Everything was like on cue. It was a very very I think probably one of the top w- up there with the top flowing AEWs of 2020. Like it was, was very well done. The opening match with uh with FTR and Private Party I thought was really good. Yeah. I thought uh mm-hmm. it both like both styles clashed together quite nicely. Like obviously FTR is the more ground and pound kind of team with uh you know private party being the jumpy jumpy high flippy type team very very fast and all that stuff yeah my favorite but uh, the big thing is out of that though was tully blanchard was out with ftr it was funny when when i was at the show i was scrolling and i was like ah crap like some one of your tweets and i was like ah shit got ruined i was like all right whatever (laughs) but as as i was like coming home things were getting ruined for me so i was like ah whatever you know it is what it is but um but my goodness, that was like this is crazy. Like, hmm. Slowly but surely, Tiff, the it's four. Coming. It's coming. Coming, coming guys. The FTR, he's out there with an FTR jacket too. So uh, I, 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 I like the pairing cool. of these two. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So. So it'll be interesting to see how this new horse horseman I feel faction those guys, comes up. man. It's hot out and they're sweating and oh yeah, like on the cab and like <laughs> I was seeing like Isaiah and I'm like oh my god, but I was loving like the little thing like that even like Isaiah was blowing a kiss and who was yep. it just a dash and then I mean uh, to cash and then uh, cash did it back and like it was such a smart like uh, power play with FTR that you know holding on to Quinn and stuff like it was good. It was it was really good. I'm so proud of those boys. Ugh, but they're still stuck in the losing streak, man. They, they can't get out of this losing I'm rut. Bury my 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 boys, guys. <laughs> I'm not getting buried. <laughs> they're just losing like every match. I guess they're. I wouldn't say jobber status just yet. No, no, because they're still putting on good good matches with the matches that they boys, are having. They're good. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're, they're gonna be the year of 2021. I feel like so. Hopefully. I do hopefully because they are a very I know they're very young but they're I'm very they have such a big upside to these two man it's just it's crazy. I saw a freaking video of Isaiah when he was like fourteen years old training. I was oh, really? like, get out of here! Yeah, <laughs> I saw it the other day. I was like, oh my god, look at baby Isaiah. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop. Anyway, uh, let's move on. <laughs> anywho, anywho. Okay, let's talk about that uh, promo from Mox, man. Yeah. The promo against like MJF, and oh, then oh God. my goodness, like he's so good. He's just so intense. I think <gasps> the fact that Moxley is just so intense when it comes to like his promos, and he gets right into it. Like you can uh, literally, he like you can tell he loves doing these promos. Like, you can yeah. tell he puts all his effort into sounding so authentic and so like, I really just want to go and beat the living crap out of you. <laughs> like he, <laughs> like, he fits his character to yeah. a T. And I like how he speaks even like highly, like he was talking about yeah. like MJF, like he's good. He's you know, boosting he'll him. be champ. Yeah. Like I love, I love how he goes about this and he's like, he'll be champ just not September 5th. Yeah. But I was like, yes, I was like, I was like, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. And then MJF's promo later on when he was like basically crying almost. Oh my god. And I'll give it to MJF Scarf. I gotta say he does deserve a Academy Award for this. I agree with you, MJF Scarf. <laughs> I'm with you boy. Uh yeah, that was a, an incredible performance he, he did in his yeah. promo. Like MJF is just the king of promos. Like it's so they he, drew up the contract. <laughs> yeah, and then they had uh oh, the guy looks so familiar that his quote unquote lawyer. Yeah. I can't put my finger on where I seen him. Uh, someone's gonna point it out. I just know it. But uh, anywho, um, 
now they're saying that the paradigm shift is dangerous and basically in the contract signing that's happening next week there if moxley wants to have this match with mjf he's got to sign the contract and in the contract it's going to state that he cannot use the paradigm shift for his match so that's going to be interesting we're adding a stipulation to this Mo- if moxley can only win by beating him without the paradigm shift didn't he do this with cody though with all that shit that was going on. But. No, there was no like non crossroads thing. That was just the remember there was like the stipulations to, to yeah, that he had to yeah. do to in order to I'm face like, you MJF. Know, you're a little shit. You that like, you're making all these damn demands. Like who are you? <laughs> He's MJF. You? He's running for who are you? AEW World Champion 2020. Hmm. Okay. Um, the Long Island boy. Okay. <laughs> um delete. Got back together for a match. This was weird because I'd, I'd hoped for some sort of interaction with Hangman and him not being too happy about it. But uh, we had the Elite with Kenny and the Young Bucks and facing off against the Dark Order. I believe it was uh, Allen Angels and uh, Reynolds and Silver, I believe. I think those were the other two. It was, uh, yeah, it was it was John and, and uh, it was Silver and Reynolds and then... Uh... But the big story here was what happened after the match. The match was great. It was good. It, obviously, it's the elite. The elite are the elite. Like, the, those guys together create, you know, the greatest tag team matches. Like, they're, they're always going to have the best. When it comes to three-man tag, the elite is elite at doing it. Yeah. The story here is not the match. Emotion. The story I was is what happened after. I get my locomotion. That's all I care about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the double. You did, you did it with two people. There you go. I love when he does that. Um, But the story here is after the match. After the match, for some reason... Kenny Omega snaps, he goes and grabs a chair, he puts it in the ring, and Max he goes to powerbomb one of the Dark Order guys, and then you know, like, stop him going, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, Matt, stop, Matt, and the match is chair. over. And Kenny's snapping. I love it. More. I love it. We're getting more cleaner. We're getting close. Oh, what I'm telling you, like, you imagine they troll us, that, like, like we think we're going to get it, but then Hangman's going to turn? <sighs> I don't I don't think they would have done that. No. Because you would, like, the whole FTR... Know. Yeah. And like Hangman, it's it's weird, right? Like, cause everybody's got their guesses of like who the four four horsemen are gonna be. Then like some people are saying like Kenny, some people yeah. are being Hangman, you know. And uh, didn't Kenny say he wanted to do something different in yeah. AW, you know? So like we look like it, but I feel like that it might be like Hangman that joins Maybe. over. But I don't know. Like I'm getting that kind of sense from all of this. Hey, just like BT, uh, I guess Dark Order are done with them because <laughs> we're with Brody Lee. Effing man, that was the last thing his parting words. But anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. So some tease there with Kenny Omega. They uh, they put that on Dynamite. So there's a there's a reason why they did that and did nothing with Hangman there. So something is going on here that I cannot wait to see what the outcome is. Um, <laughs> which we might get out all out because uh, we'll, we'll talk about it later. But uh, yeah all out was we were trying to figure out the other day like of like all the matches that we're going to get at uh, we have four now four or five i believe let me see i actually saved it here we have four announced matches which we'll get to um so we have to talk about what happened at the end of the i hate like we mean to have said like the multi-man matches i mean they're just so AW's kind of getting into a routine where they're overdoing it, and they're always doing, like, 8-man and 10-man and 12-man and 18-man and 50-man so, tag team matches. I think the most that you should do is 3-3, three and three, Yeah, I feel like. I think I think anything more than that is way too much, especially when you get a lot of the high flyers. and It's you know, cool because you get a lot of cool spot. spots, but it's just so much. It's it's a yeah, little too you much. Miss, you yeah. miss it because that's what I feel like, and that's what I don't like. And I think also what I've learned also from interviewing a lot of wrestlers, like that a lot of them won't, like, do Doing, um like rumble style kind of matches because it's just like a spot maybe you can get in there's just so much chaos and i feel like and and all these teams are great that we had um but again it's it's hard like how do you lose really sight of the match there. too it kind yeah, of looks like, like, wrestlers, like lose sight of how the match is supposed to end and yeah there's just too much confusion even within the wrestlers not just us watching it as fans it's just a Sometimes yeah. it kind of looks like the wrestlers are a little bit confused on how <laughs> that's just supposed to end or something. Yeah, and it's but, like how are we uh, supposed to sit here and like talk about it too much? It's just like spot after spot after yeah. spot. But we'll talk about the big thing. With yeah, the, after the, the match. Of course, <laughs> the whole thing with the uh, what was it? Uh, Blade Eddie. and and Pentagon, and that they got into a war, you know. And then I just which wind up questing the match. Yeah. Um, and I just love love like I swag at goosebumps every time I hear Eddie Kingston come out. Like this man is someone that I followed in the indies. I love him dearly. He's one of the best in the business on the mic. Oh my god! Like, oof, 
oof, so what's going to happen now, yeah, so Kyle? What we, like, so what, what do we, are we gonna, make what? of this? Is this a faction or is this something I, else? Because <laughs> it kind of like, looked like they started something too. there. Yeah, we started something, but I feel like Eddie would like, be sneaky and he'll turn on them too. You know, To like, me, I don't think it's a faction because I don't think they want to uh, yeah, end I, the I death triangle know. thing with Pac. Because if Pac ever comes back, you know, like, Lucha Brothers, well, what's up with that? Are we just going to yeah. forget that that ever happened? Yeah. But it's so cool. Like, I like how he said, oh, you know, I've traveled with you guys in the indies and stuff yeah. like that. He was, like I said, I've seen this. I've physically seen this in person with a lot. And Yeah, it's very intense. Oh, man. Like, I was talking the other day about, like, Eddie Kingston and, and stuff. I need to go back. And they were they were telling me I need to go back and watch, like, old, old matches of him. But he's so good. He's yeah. so good. I was I was wondering where has he been. So I'm glad like he's finally back out. Yeah. So. Oof. Um. So Darby was in action. Uh, he had a match against Will Hobbs, and again the story, the story again is after the match. Match it is what it is, but Darby's music or uh, Taz gets on the mic. Man, so good. And he's, he's so uh, good. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I got a new member, and I was actually thinking, I'm like, I'm, I'm in my head, I'm going through like all the the members of the AW roster, going, okay, who has joined Team Taz here? Like, who is the next member? But Darby's music hits, and Ricky Stark comes out dressed My like God. Darby Allen. He looks almost identical to him. It's crazy. I'm sure he did his makeup. But like. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think, I, that's what I, that's exactly what I said to Mrs. Masters. Yeah. I'm like, I bet you that Darby did of his course, makeup. Of course, because Darby does his stuff. So yeah. I can see Darby doing it for him, but oh my god, how cool! Like that was really cool. This but this so this feud expected. is intense, man. Yeah, this is this is something I need to see like ASAP. This is this is the stories that we talk about that we mm. love to build, but like the mic work with all of this is oh my god, I can't wait. I'm stoked. <laughs> so I'm assuming all out. It's going to be Ricky Starks and I'm Darby down Allen. for that. I'm definitely down. I yeah. don't know. It's funny. We were trying to figure out all the matches that we're going to see at All Out, and it was like there are there are a lot of stories pending. That yeah, we can go over there. And weren't we just saying this a couple weeks ago? We're like, okay, you need to start building some stories. We need yeah. to know what the hell is going to All Out. So, but there are we got we have some, and 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 here's one. So, what's going to happen? I think you save these two for All Out. They deserve to have an All Out spot. Yeah. I yeah. think those who can actually put up a very can you imagine like Darby and and and, Ricky and Ricky Stark's going at those two are going to put on an yeah. unbelievable match. Give that's me. that's pay per view quality, I think, Take, especially with the story too. And I'll be a little salty if this is like a pre, like you know, not the, on the, the buy in. Yeah, the buy in. I'll be a little salty about. Can it. they do another like battle royale buy in? Can they just so stick many to that? Stories. I feel like we don't need to. But what, what do you, you have to have a match on the buy in? So what do you put? No, no, I know, but. Uh, the initiative come on get your first w <laughs> it, well let's be real here it should have been brandon cutler versus peter avalon yeah. should have been the buy hey maybe that'll be it maybe by then maybe the next two happen. weeks they nah, split nah, don't, it's too soon it's too <laughs> soon they have a shirt now it's too soon it's too soon no. <laughs> you hear me they have a shirt now <laughs> they have a shirt now they they, they can't split and yeah, that's it zip nada well, the way that they pump out shirts, like, yeah. you know. Oh, they're a t-shirt factory. It's crazy. Yeah. It's a t-shirt company, guys. Like, you know. So, it is what it is. But, um, you know, what else do we have? Yo, Thunder Rosa. Like, what? Yeah, what? that was crazy. What? Oh, my God. I was stoked. Stoked. I'm like, oh, man. So, I have some news about that. So, uh, I have a news here about backstage news on how AW was able to book Thunder Rosa for All Out. Um, up to this point, there's been no relationship between AW and NWA, and it's not clear if this is a start of a long-term partnership or a one-off, but Dave Meltzer is noting on the Wrestling Observer Radio that Tony Khan actually reached out to Billy Corgan, and an agreement has been reached. Uh, Tony Khan had the idea of Sheeta versus Thunder Rosa for whatever reason, and he talked to Billy Corgan about it, and Billy Corgan was fine with the idea. That's probably why they acknowledged that she is the NWA World's Champion. So... Makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be the start of a partnership between NWA and AEW. What do you think of that partnership? I I mean, you and me have been talking about a partnership in general for for as long as we've been doing this podcast. And it would be great. And it would be nice every once in a while to have people from other companies come in and out. And especially with the fact that we need a better women's division and not like that we don't have it because we do have decent talent on it it's the booking 
yeah. right? But again, here we go, Queen of the Indies, right? Like, I'm loving this. Like, this yeah, is you. Yeah. We already had this with Cody, right? And Cody already with with Nick Aldis, like that we've, you know, that they. I saw that people friendship. saying that they want to see another one. They want to see these two I'm go at it again. I'm down for two. Yeah. Like, you know, like I again, here's like another like all out kind of pay per view that we could have with with those two. Um, and you've had all these open challenges with Cody. So I love it. And especially like you, you know, a lot of people complain about the women's division. So didn't I say this, like we, you and me got into like a whole tiff on yeah. the podcast about like, okay, well, there's other women out there. Right. And she is like in D still like, you know, like I'll see her at independent shows and then here's your NWA champion. Yeah. So this is a huge win for aw this is going to be a match that i'm so excited for because we were saying who who does she fight next rio so yeah, like yeah. who does she fight who does she fight this you mean Hik huge. hikaru <laughs> you said rio oh yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> She ain't Sheeta, a champ Sheeta, anymore. Sheeta, 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 Sheeta. Well, we were saying like Rihu, yeah, right? Rihu we were like, oh, where is she? Like, right, where is yeah. she gonna come back? You know. But yeah. So like, this is this is huge. This, this, oh my god. And you think about it too. You know that AW is doing this like whole new four four horsemen thing. Four horsemen to appear on an NWA show is just nostalgia writes itself right there. So I yeah. love the partnership between these two. If like FTR want to go over and have, and I know they've been wanting to go to NWA for a while. So if they partner up with right. AW. There's a chance that, you know, kind of like FTR doesn't really need to go anywhere. They can stay with AW with them giving getting the contract for him to go work in NWA or to go over to New Japan. Because clearly, right. you know, AW stars are still allowed to go work in New Japan because Moxley's still, I think, he's still currently the uh, the U.S. champion. And now Kent is calling him out on, on Twitter. So him and Kent are going to go at it sometime soon. So that's going to be huge. So I, I'm loving the. I absolutely love if they do a partnership with NWA. That w I think that could benefit both companies in so many ways. Right. So I, I'm hoping for big things. Yeah, I'm down. I'm open to any partnership. That's how I look yeah. at it with AW. If it's going to, because we win, right? That's how I look at it. We win as as fans, right? And and yes, we have a huge roster. They keep signing. But, you know, just think of matches that we can get later down the line because we don't want the same repeat matches all, all the time as well. So I, I love it, even if it's a one and done yeah. kind of story. So this is going to be good. This is going to be a great match. Pumped. But uh, How funny was it on Dynamite when uh, Sammy came out to do his cue card thing? Oh, geez. And Matt Hardy attacks him in the middle of him doing the cue cards, oh, man, throws him through a freaking table. And now next week we're getting a uh, tables match between these good. two. Which good. I'm sitting here going like, do they should they have done this right off the bat or should this have been saved for all out unless they there's a plan for these two to still go at it at all out? Like maybe we have a uh, the rubber match maybe at all out. I don't know. Like these Again, two actually, actually these two actually have. haven't had a match yet. The, what if this match next yeah. week doesn't even happen or this week? Sorry, I keep saying next week is this Thursday. Right, um, right. But what if this match doesn't even happen and it, it, they, they they just keep stalling? You know what I mean until all out. And that's when they finally have their big match because I feel like, like if you're, you're doing no, this already, you're kind of killing it. To, uh, like it's a draw, pretty much. They both go through a table at the same time. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I don't know, or something. Nah, it's gonna. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna go to all out. I'm telling you because there's so many. There's a lot of possibilities that we could have at all out. So is that worthy for all out? I think so. I think these two have been – it's an intense feud because it is, it of is what happened feud. with that chair thing. Like, that was a big deal. And you saw them joke about it in, in BTE, like, saying, yeah. like, should we fire him? And then right at the end, like, Nick's like, yeah, let's fire him. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they do. I, I'd be cool. You know what? It's – not like people are fans of the blood and all that stuff. I think they should do – they should have a first blood match at uh, at All Out. You're going you're gonna to upset some people again. That's fine. That's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> I mean, is. I'm all for it. I've watched death matches, so I'm good for it. But not everybody's going to like it. But ah. but that blood, that we, we have to think about it. The blood wasn't supposed to happen in this feud. Yeah. That that shot was yeah. unintentional. Was Matt Hardy wasn't yeah. supposed to bleed. So now mm -hmm. that they can they kind of they can go roll with it now. You know, Matt Hardy, yeah. Matt Hardy could go for his blood. Matt Hardy was like, you, you made me bleed. Now I'm going to make you bleed. So they have a first blood match at All yeah. Out. It kind of just writes itself. So, but let's talk about the mimosa match. Oh my god! Oh, oh sorry. Okay. <laughs> Has Jericho been on the phone with Vince Russo? Like honestly, what? What is this? What is this match? A ring surrounded by a tank of mimosa. 
What? <laughs> oh my god! Okay. You, you talk about being. I mean, you I, talk about being the innovator, right? He was like, yeah, he made the Money in the Bank match. He invented that. He he created the Stadium Stampede match, which was very successful. I'll admit, yeah, right. it was great. But now we're having a match where the ring is surrounded by a full tank of mimosa. <laughs> Damn, this is alcohol abuse, and I feel personally attacked, okay? Because I could be drinking these mimosas God. and enjoying it, so I feel personally attacked Someone, right now. You know, who's no, gotta, you know what's got to be done? Billy Gunn, or not Billy Gunn, uh, Austin Gunn, who's at ringside, needs to reach over and, like, scoop in a glass. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> while he's at ringside. Austin, if you're you know, watching, bud, do I, it. I see hit or miss with this match, right? Yeah. Like, I, I see people who love it, and I see people who hate it. And me, again, like, when we started doing this podcast, when we started doing all the podcasts, I swear I have open mind. I don't judge. I'm open to whatever. So, hey, like, why not, right? We've seen crazy. I keep saying that I want the orange juice spot. Well, I guess this is going to be the closest that I'm going to get to an orange that. juice spot. But... <laughs> You're getting you're getting your hands full with orange juice and and oh a little bit God. of bubbly here. I don't but, even uh, know. To be honest with you, like uh, our our friend Brad, like he actually was like, I can't wait for your prediction show with Kyle. And I was like, and I was like, man, I was like, sometimes these matches, like I really don't know. I was like, it really drives me crazy. It'll be next really- week, by the way. Next week's AEP or no? Nah. I don't know because if we're doing AEP, if if AW Diamond is having Thursday, we're gonna obviously be doing. You're gonna get two AEPs this week. You're gonna get this episode. And yeah, you're gonna get another one. one. Friday, yeah. But that'll mean next week's AEP, not this week. Next week's AP will be the prediction show, so that'll be great. Because uh, next sat, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday is all out. We're oh almost there. God. Time flies, yeah. man. Like <laughs> what? Yeah. But, and uh, wow. Okay. So we'll do that 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 week. All I right, think the thing is the, the the most the big complaint is with that though, Tiff, it, with that feud, Jericho and Orange Cassidy is I seen a lot of people and I kind of agree with Lalo. It, it, I think it's it's starting to run its course. They they, they kind of right. need to move on after this. Like, that's got to oh, be. Yeah, it. I really thought it should have ended the last one. Yeah, it should have ended the last one. I don't really need this. You know, that's like my thought process. Like what else do we need to see gonna... out of this? So that's why I think the the the, the yeah. mimosa is coming into a factor here. Because if I they guess... were just gonna have another match, it would have just been like, why? Well, Jericho, right? He said he really liked working with Orange Cassidy, right? Yeah. So is that is that why that's happening? So um, putting him over, like he's, yeah. He's saying, yeah, he's like putting him. Even though, like, I feel like he's over, and especially if you were a fan of him before. If you were a fan of Orange Cassidy before the hand, you're already a fan and you already know about his gimmick and stuff like that. So maybe like, you know, Jericho's just having fun with his career with this. So, um, but yeah, I'm very interested, but this yeah. needs to be the last one. It, 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 does. it does. And we <laughs> honestly, with AEW, we haven't really seen too many that the feuds continue. Now, is right? this predictable? We're not getting too many. I don't know. Like, because like, like if you ask me right now, who's going to win? I'm not sure. I can't see Jericho throwing Cassidy into the into the the juice. The only thing I could see happening is the match ends in the ring and someone gets goes into the tank afterwards no matter what. I don't know if I could see someone winning oh, Ortiz by is going, definitely into the tank. going into the tank. Oh my god, yeah. You're like Ortiz is definitely going into someone. the tank. <laughs> and he's not going to be able to swim. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's happening. You called that's it. That's happening. happening. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> or someone's gonna go in and come out and he drunk. Cut his hair. He cut his hair, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. He cut his hair. It, it was getting out of control. Not gonna lie. What? But, <laughs> but it's Ortiz, man. <laughs> he used to have anyway. the best, the best, the best, the best, the best hair. That New York, that New York accent. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, um, main event. Yes, let's wow. talk about this. This wow. wow. Wow, wow, wow. And the funny thing is this was like spoiled all over the place. And a lot of people yeah. were like, oh, he's not going to be happy. No, Tiffany's happy. Tiffany's very happy. <laughs> I just can't believe he got squashed. No, that was perfect though, right? This, like, I really feel like this was the perfect way for Cody to lose the belt was that he got completely squashed. Like, I no loved offense at all. Every- <laughs> I loved it. I freaking loved it like it was the best way for him to lose the belt yeah no they did oh, this man. whole thing from the start of that to the end like from the last credit on scene that we ended the show everything was well done from the match itself like the squash makes so much sense you can't you, you couldn't have a, a, a battle between these two guys and cody losing the belt him getting squashed by Brody lee and, and ending it like that making him win smart decision very well booked and then the whole ending of them basically destroying the nightmare family and leaving everyone to waste on stage 
And you see that end scene with Cody and, and Brandy like holding each other's hands oh, man. after like, oh my god, and Brody like like giving the floor to Anna J. Like there you yes. go, there's Brandy, there you go, yes. and like feeding oh, it to her. Like that was just all so- perfectly well done in. Spilling the broken old belt all over coding is here. Oh, you can have that great. back. Yep. Yep. So like, <laughs> okay, so there's a question. Are we gonna have Brandy versus Anna J in the buy-in? Like, is that gonna be it? Like, I think we were all expecting Brandy and Allie. So does that mean like they're gonna stay together still and like we're not gonna have this feud at all out? And no, I think possibility. Uh, I talk or you about, think this is gonna I go on dynamite? Something that's gonna be an interesting match. It's so the TNT belt, I don't think is gonna be defended at all out. Really? I think I think it's gonna be, it's gonna include Brody Lee and Anna J. It could be a simple tag team of Brody Lee and Anna J against Cody and Brandy as a, a mixed tag match, or a mixed triple tag match. They add one more guy in there. Maybe they add Dustin in there, and they add another member from the Dark Order. Maybe Ten comes back or something. I don't know if like you know with everything that's happened, like with the speak out and stuff like that like you know like if people are still okay with that even like the intergender so but i don't know like you think we're gonna see mixed tag like that's just my guess i don't think it's gonna happen but i i I can see that maybe happening i mean it would be just because what they did they laid like they 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 made anna j attack brandy after she was trying to protect cody and then you left the nightmare family lied out on stage you think that the nightmare family would want their revenge against the dark order so maybe that's why i guess like a a mixed tag kind of match I mean, I'm all for like intergender. Let's go, but that's not gonna happen. But it'd be cool. Maybe uh, they put the belt on the line. Anyone that gets the pinfall, the belt goes to you know that team. It's either Dark Order or Nightmare Family. I don't think this is gonna happen at all. I think we're dreaming. <laughs> I'm just I'm just rolling with the punches here. We don't know I, I what, to see like what the, they do. Again, like I like the thought of it, but I don't think yeah. it's gonna happen. So I don't, honestly probably we'll see uh, Brandy and Anna J probably on a Dynamite episode or Dark. Okay. Probably a dark. I see it more like a dark. Well, maybe not because, you know, because we had this on Dynamite. But I, it's not all out worthy, I feel like. Uh, especially that we got like uh, Britt Baker and, and uh, Swole happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's talk uh, about next. Or, like, I keep saying, I keep wanting to say next week. But it's this week. So in like three days. <laughs> yes. Uh, the big thing about this week's episode, guys, though, is AWA is going back to live. It's going to be live TV. B, there's fans in the building. Yeah. AW is allowed 10% capacity under the Florida guidelines, uh, being an outdoor venue. Everyone is uh, man- mask mandatory, which is great. They sold the tickets in pods, which I think is a fantastic idea. That is so smart of Tony Khan. And the best part was about this TIFF is what happened after, because obviously the secondary market sellers there being idiots about it like they always are with tickets reselling them for way too much and breaking up these pods now aw and tony khan send out a statement saying that they're going to be policing this and basically saying that we're we're still going to keep people in pods we're going to be monitoring this as you come to the arena so even though you could be separated at uh, with the ticket selling they they've said please contact us or tell us when you get here and we'll make sure you guys are sitting within your same pod so the fact that they're making people their same family and groups like their same social circles sit together and not with someone random is perfect and i seen the the layout they did it's not nowhere close to the ring they're kind of like in the two and the 300s and everything is spaced apart aw is doing the right, right way even though i will say and i won't go too much into it i still don't agree but they should be doing this i think they've been doing fine without fans i think aw is just they've been doing fine without fans i don't i didn't see there was no problem with you know i don't i don't see what the 10 percent is gonna do off maybe they'll I'll eat my words maybe it does make a difference i did complain a little bit this week i think the sound the the I know the crowd noise that they're they're pumping in a little bit has been a little bit too loud and i can't hear the commentators really well they're kind of getting muffled but uh i think they've been doing fine without a crowd tiff i think with the, with the wrestlers at ringside and the the, the kind of like the extras that are way in the back i think aw's been doing fine without a crowd so we'll see what happens again i might eat my words we'll see but it'll be live and we have lots of crazy shit, shit, I said shit, beep, <laughs> booked. Uh, Big Swole is going to have a handicap match against uh, Penelope Ford, <laughs> Reba, Reba, and mm-hmm. Britt Baker, which I don't even know if Rip Britt Baker is going to be out of her chair. I have a feeling it's just going to be Penelope Ford and Reba, and it's going to be all Ford. 
You know nah. what I mean? I don't think I don't I, I highly doubt Britt Baker gets involved in this match. And if Reba does, she's gonna get squashed. <laughs> oh Reba's Reba's taking the pin. Yeah, Reba's taking the pin. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the one match. I'm actually looking forward to watching that. That's gonna be entertaining as as heck. Um Matt Hardy and, and the Spanish God, whether this match happens or not, or if they go through the table at the same time, tables match. And uh, the tag team gauntlet. That's going to be exciting. I'm glad it's not all in the ring at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> like we've been talking about. It's uh, one at a time. But uh, the number one, two, three, and four contenders in a gauntlet match. Winner gets to be number one contenders and will go to all out to face Kenny and Hangman for the titles. So uh, that's going to be interesting. One of these teams, Tiff, do you have like a small prediction who's going to win this gauntlet? You got FTR, Best Friends, Young Bucks, and Natural Nightmares. Ooh. Well, it's going to be FTR. They're going to win. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. FTR, man. I'm going to go best friends. I hope Do it for friend. Sue. <laughs> I- <laughs> no, because they're going to probably face off yeah, Proud no. and Powerful. So yeah. that's not going to happen. So let's be realistic here. The way that this is going, FTR is taking the damn best belt friends. off of... <laughs> I want best friends to win. Best dun, friends should win. Now, dun, now you triggered dun, me. Dun, now you triggered dun, dun, me. Dun, 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 <laughs> best friends down. <laughs> Call my cell phone. It's the ringtone. I love it. Um, love but <laughs> let's not get any anyways, go copyrights. Ahead. But oh man, I'm still salty. He just like freaking set my bells off because like best friends should have freaking won the titles. But that's how it's going. It looks like FTR is going to get the titles and they're going to be facing the Young Bucks. Just Full like, year. You know, where we really don't need a title match on this match. What if we get opinion. What if we get shocked and the natural nightmares win? Well, then I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> the natural nightmares? Come on. Ugh. Anyways. You're, put it on them and you're not going to put it on the best friends? Now Speaking of tag teams, rant. we actually forgot to talk about the tag team, the women's tag team cup match from Dynamite. Uh, and it, I mean, it was Listen, all right. It was. Ivelisse and Monty deserve so yeah, much better. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. I'm not even going to go into anything with it because that's just how I feel. So congratulations that they won, but they deserve better. Okay. You well, know? So. Maybe. We'll, we'll end it at that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Dynamite was good. And then look, we're three days away from the next one. Uh, I don't know when we're going to do AEP next Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Guys, keep an eye Friday. on our Twitter. Friday. Make sure- Friday, you think so? Friday. Friday. Okay, so keep, yes, I can't keep, do keep an eye out, guys, on Friday, Friday. for uh, Friday. for uh, AP next one. But still, follow us on social media. Make sure you're following us on uh, on Facebook at All Elite Podcast. Make sure you're following us on Twitter, the important one, at All Elite Pod. And on Instagram at All Elite Pod as well. Make sure you're following the No Holds Bar Network as well, which uh, is the network we are under at No Holds Bar Network on Facebook, at no, and, or at NHB Network on Twitter. Not no holds barred network on Instagram. Every link for you guys to follow is down in the description below on the video version of this podcast. If you are an on-the-go listener, thank you very much for downloading and listening to this episode each and every single week. You guys are most most appreciated here. People on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Player FM, Deezer, wherever you're getting your podcast and you're listening to us, thank you very much. So, guys, if you guys want to listen to all the podcasts on the go. Make sure you're searching up the No Holds Bar Network on your podcasting uh, apps, and you will find the All Elite Podcast and all the other glorious uh, podcasts we offer here on the network. Make sure you're checking out also the No Holds Bar Network's website, www.noholdsbarnetwork.com, for articles, podcasts, and more. Everything will be on that website. And like I said before, we have a new merch store on Teespring's No Holds Bar Network store. That link will be in the video description of the YouTube video uh, down below. So if you're listening to us on audio, Head on over to the YouTube version, click the link, get to our store, or it'll be posted on the No Holds Bar Network uh, Twitter accounts. And then last but not least, Darren and These Wolves, thank you very much for letting us use the song uh, Dead to Me as the official theme song of the All Elite Podcast. So go check out Darren, guys. Show him some love. Follow him on social and download his music. Yeah, he's got a yeah. new song coming out. Ooh. <laughs> And I'll see him That's... Saturday at Synergy. Also, guys, make sure you go on the No Holds Barred Twitter account. We are yes. working with Fight TV now, Ooh. which is amazing. Thank you, guys. You guys are <laughs> awesome. But we're running a contest, so make sure you go to the yes. uh, the pinned tweet. So like, retweet, and follow the No Holds Barred Network, and make sure you follow Fight TV retweet. You can get a chance to see Synergy, which we are huge supporters of. Colin will actually be on Under the Ropes with me and Ray this week, so stay tuned for that. And we got some couple more interviews lined up as well on the No Host Bar Network. So, yeah, yeah it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up here for this offline episode. I apologize for not being live of the All Elite Podcast. Right here on the No Holds Bar Network, your source for all wrestling podcast content and more. I'm your host, as always, the self-proclaimed greatest host. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at RealKyleMasters. That's my co-host. She's the EVP of Giggles, the queen, that crown of the indies, and the heartbreak chick. That's Tiffany. You can follow her at LovesToDream82 on Twitter for her glorious tweets, her often sunshine tweets every single week. (laughs) (laughs) That's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll see you guys back here on Friday for the next episode of AEP. And until then, stay elite, wash your hands, wear your mask, take care.